Hello. Have you ever gone on a hike with your family in a forest or climbed through uh, some hills or a mountain? Sometimes when we go hiking, we have to step over big rocks or go under a hanging tree branch. Sometimes you even have to cross streams of water. How hard do you think that would be if you didn't know where you were going? What if the people that went on the hike were blind and couldn't see which way they had to go? They'd have a lot of trouble knowing when to step over a rock or when to duck down so they didn't get hit in the head with a branch. What would they do? I know, what if they had a leader who wasn't blind and who knew the way very well and he could lead them through? Not only that, but he would even go on ahead of them and make sure the path was straight and there was nothing to trip on, no big rocks, he could move those out of the way and then they wouldn't have to worry about it so much. Then maybe that hike wouldn't be so hard, would it? That's what God promises to do for us, not just when we go on a hike in the woods, but our entire lives. Listen to what God told the prophet Isaiah. And I will lead the blind in a way that they do not know, in paths that they have not known, I will guide them. I will turn the darkness before them into light, the rough places into level ground. These are the things I do, and I do not forsake them. Because Jesus died and rose again for us, we don't have to be afraid or worry when there's trouble or our problems feel like they're as big as a mountain. God took all of those problems and he took all of our troubles and he gave them to Jesus. So now we get to follow him because he knows the way. All of our biggest problems were defeated when Jesus was on the cross. When he rose again on Easter, we got a new life and we got a leader who would never ever leave us. God even continues to guide us today by leading us here to our church or as it is now on the internet church so we can hear his word and receive his gifts. He speaks to us and he washes us in our baptisms and he feeds us in the Lord's Supper. I know if I was going on a big hike, I'd want a leader like that. Pray with me. Oh Lord, you call us to follow you and you take away all of our fears and all of our troubles. Thank you for leading all of us and for promising to be with us always because of your son, Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. God bless you all.